What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And he, although the United States has uh, abandoned its missions on uh, the moon because of financial reasons and uh, also political reasons, I think, looks like China is uh, raring to go. They put out a very ambitious plan uh, some years back and they're already on stage three, which uh, this is the Chang'e 3 spacecraft number two, brought back some very high resolution pictures of the surface. And uh, this one's going to land. They're shooting it off in December, from what I hear. It says, it uh, looks like it's a go. This is from uh, SpaceDaily.com. In December 2013, China will launch its first mission to the soft land on the surface of the moon. The Chang'e 3 spacecraft will carry a robotic rover to the surface of the moon and also perform experiments stationed on the lander itself. This is gearing up to be a scientifically important mission. Nothing has landed on the moon since 1976. It's about time that was changed. Now, we pretty much, the United States, uh, gave up on the moon here for a little bit. And uh, I know, like I said, I've been very excited about this. I haven't done any articles about it yet, but uh, now it's coming up. We've got India going to Mars. We're sending the Maven to Mars. And uh, we've got China going back to the moon. And uh, China's got a very ambitious, uh, if you look at their plan, you can go to Wikipedia and, and lay out their, their plans laid out here. Um, here it is right here. And it uh, talks about the landers, the phase one all the way through phase three. And it uh, looks like phase four is going to be the manned lunar landing. And they're expecting that in uh, 2025. So um, it's very interesting. They're going to be sending up some pretty thick vehicles. This little one looks more like a, a Mars rover that we sent up Opportunity. And uh, here, they, they, in this article, they're talking a little bit about it. The scientist in question exercise, expresses concern over the design of the rover, claiming it borrows too heavily from earlier space rovers, such as NASA's famous Mars exploration rovers and the Soviet uh, Lankhead moon rovers. So I forgot the Russians uh, sent moon rovers up there, too. Um, it's been a while. So the Australian analysts cannot deny there are similarities. See, And basically, they're just saying in here there's similarities between the two. But you know what? You, you you keep with what works, you know. Look, Opportunity's still up there on Mars sending back stuff. They're gonna keep with what works. I mean, even Curiosity, even though it's uh, powered by nuclear power, it's uh, still the basic design of a rover, you know. Um, so either way, you know, you guys were going back, you know. Humanity is still on the move. We're still pushing forward out in the space. What's up in the sky? 37. Get your news updates. Get your anomaly photos. Come check out the website at www.whatsupinthesky.com. My name is Will. Peace.